Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development and in today's short screencast I wanted to show you how you can use Suzy to create a custom layout, custom grid without including any of the CSS frameworks like Bootstrap or Foundation. So Suzy is very simple to use and we'll find out in, in this tutorial how to use it and how it can help you with your layout. Alrighty, so what is actually Suzy useful for? So Suzy is a set of tools which helps you generate your custom CSS layouts. Okay, so let's say you've got a project where you've got column on a sidebar floating left and then main container with a grid layout inside of it and you don't want to calculate everything manually. You can use Suzy to generate the CSS for you and you only include that CSS in your project, okay? If you would use Bootstrap or Foundation, you will need to include the their CSS file, which might be too large and you might not use everything from it. So the advantage of using Suzy is that it generates the CSS for you, but only the CSS you really need, okay? The other benefit is that with using Suzy, you can name your classes however you want, okay? If you're using Foundation or Bootstrap, you need to stick to their naming conventions. But with Suzy, you can generate the CSS and add extra classes or custom classes. You can name it whatever you want. So if you prefer Smacks or BAM, whatever naming conventions your team or you prefer, you can generate the grid layout using that. Okay, so there is a couple of examples on, on the site, suzy.odbird.net. And as Chris Coyer puts it nicely, it basically helps you to create grids on demand, okay, without including any unnecessary frameworks. All right, so that's in short what Suzy is, and now let's have a look how you can use it. We'll create a blank code pen demo, so you can play with it as well, so you can find a URL to this under the video. And in the HTML view, I'll just put a simple HTML where we've got a side, which will be our sidebar. And then we've got our main with H1, H2 and a project, 10 projects. Hopefully that will end up in a grid. Okay, so this is the simple HTML. And in the CSS, we'll be adding the Suzy, Suzy grid. But for now, we'll need to figure out how to actually turn it on. Okay, so we know, or I know that uh, CodePen actually supports Suzy but in your own framework you would, uh, or in your own project, you would go to documentation and there is a getting started, which helps you with installing Suzy. Okay, so if you wanna install it on your local, follow these steps. I'm assuming you've got it already working. So as I said, CodePen's already supporting it. So we can start with the quick start and we'll simply include import Suzy at the top of our style sheet. Okay, so import at Suzy, we just paste it as the first thing inside of the CSS and that will automatically include the necessary tools for us, okay? When we save it, nothing happens because we don't have it generated. We don't have anything generated yet, okay? So the next step would be to go to the next step of the documentation where there is a general settings and we'll copy and paste the first, the default values, again, at the top, of our CSS. Okay, so we've got a default Suzy. I think this is called a map, says map. So we've got columns 12, so we wanna use 12 columns. The gutter, the space between the columns will be one fourth of that. Then the math fluid, output float, and gutter position inside are the general settings. You can read more of them, more about them inside of the documentation, but I'll leave it as it is. And now we'll include finally the grid which we'll want to generate. So we wanna have a sidebar on the left and the main on the right, splitting probably from the 12 columns, we want three columns to be the sidebar and nine columns to be the main, okay? So we can also center, using Suzy, you can also center the main container, okay? So let's go body and that will include container and let's say 40M and enter. Okay, so what is this? 
it should center our main container in the middle. Okay, so body is now centered with 40, 40 M's being the width. If you, if you click on this preview, you'll see what is it generated, okay? So it sets the max width to 40% and margin left and right order, which centers that container in the middle. Okay, so you can play with this value, make it 20, make it will make it smaller, make it 80, whatever you want the custom uh, max width to be, that's what you set inside of here. Okay, so leave it 40 for now. So it fits into our screen. And the next thing we'll set the width on the aside. Okay, so we want the aside to be three of the 12 columns. Okay, so add include, include, and then we'll add a span. So span this column three of 12. Okay, so this is the syntax of Susie, and that will make the sidebar three out of 12. Okay, so three out of 12 columns will be the width of the aside. Okay, we can copy and paste that for our main. So let's change that to main and include span will be nine of 12. And that puts the main next to the sidebar. Okay, as you can see, there is a gap here, but that's just because I don't have any margin reset on the H1. So let's, uh, let's fix this one H1. Margin top uh, zero, and we'll also give the body some padding top, padding top 20 pixels. Okay, that will give us a space at the top, and we also want to include project margin bottom 10 pixels. Okay, just to give some space of the to these project. Right, but we want this project to appear in a grid, so three side by side. And for that, we'll use the gallery shortcut. Okay, so Susie has a handy gallery shortcut, which helps you generate gallery style layouts. Okay, so if you've got a project list or product listing or whatever that is and looks more like a gallery, you can use the shortcut. And Susie then calculates and assigns the right nth child and nth of type selectors so the grid will always work okay so if we include this image your gallery image inside of our project we'll just change this to dot project so dot project this will display them side by side and the three is the same thing so it spans three columns out of 12 so if we want three across we would change this to four out of 12 if we want two side by side and that would be six and so on. As you can see, we very quickly created the layout we wanted for our project and we wouldn't include any unnecessary CSS. So this is the only CSS you would generate for your project and you don't include any unnecessary frameworks and extra CSS. Okay, so very handy. Suzy is very handy. I end up using it on my recent project where we couldn't use any f foundation or bootstrap frameworks because of the overbloat and uh, we wanted something very, very streamlined and very manageable as well. So we decided to use Suzy and few other big companies using Suzy as well for generating layouts. So definitely recommending it. Play with the demo. Go to the code pen, play with it, change the values, explore the Suzy toolkit in more detail to find out how it actually works and what are the other options. This was just a quick rundown of how to use it. And that's it all for today. Hope this gave you some overview how you can generate your custom CSS layouts without including big CSS frameworks. And if you've got questions or feedback, or if you want to see another more detailed Suzy tutorial, then let me know in the comments below. And I would like to also know what you're using to create your own layouts. So share with me in the comments below. And don't forget to visit my blog at iheadtomatoes.net for more tutorials, demos, deconstructions, and other handy tools for front-end developers from the guy who hates tomatoes, okay? Until next time, happy coding. Bye.